This is a quick video on how to double flare a steel line. In this particular example, I'm going to double flare this uh, piece of 3 16 inch uh, brake line, but the process is the same for any steel line. First thing that you'll notice is that the end has been cut off. Uh, what we need to do is put a flare in this thing so that uh, it could be seated against a master cylinder. The tools you need are right here. You need some kind of a double flare tool kit and the double flaring kit will come with the yoke and forcing screw, the handle, uh, the flaring bar and adapters here for a variety of different line sizes. First thing I want to do is pull out an adapter for 3 16 line which is this one right here. So I'll set that on the side. I've got the uh, yoke assembly, the handle, and the flaring bar. So we'll take all those items, put them right here. Also going to need a file uh, for cleaning up the end of the line and a utility knife or some other type of knife for putting a light chamfer on the inside of the line. You need a line fitting. Don't forget the line fitting. If you flare without the fitting, then you're going to have to start all over again. When we're doing brake lines, uh, it's okay to lubricate the line and the tool with a little bit of brake fluid. Um, but if you are doing other lines, you can use silicone. Whatever you do, as a lubricant for a brake line, don't use silicone or petroleum-based fluids. Uh, because they are not compatible with brake fluid and yeah you'll probably get it all cleaned off but why take the chance when brake fluid works just fine so I'm gonna take this line and the flaring bar and set them up in this uh, vise you'll notice on this flaring bar this side here is beveled and this side here is flat first thing I want to do is set the line up in the flat side. So chuck the flaring bar up in the uh, vise. We're going to put the, make sure we've got the uh, fitting on there. Set this into the 3 16 line adapter. We'll start snugging down the thumb screws. What I want to do is set that so that the line is sticking up out of the flaring bar just slightly. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to take the file and I'm going to file the end of the line flat. The secret to a good flare is good preparation. If everything is smooth, flat, deburred, and beveled, you're going to get a pretty good flare. So now I've filed this down so it's flat, flush with the end of the uh, flaring bar. I'm going to take the knife here and cut the little bit of metal out of the uh, inside diameter that's been laid over from the cutting and filing process. Take your time with this. Make sure that you clean it up well. Like I said, this is really the key to making a good flare. Now on a bigger line, say 3 8 fuel line or something like that, what you would probably do is use a rat tail file to uh, bevel the inside diameter. So now that I've got the inside diameter beveled, I'm going to go ahead and put a light bevel on the outside, make sure that the outside has this little bit of uh, bevel on it. That looks pretty good. There's no burrs, nothing catching my fingers. Set the line to the side. Flip the flaring bar over so now the concave portion of the flaring bar is sticking up.
At this point, I need my line adapter. This is a 3 16 adapter for the 3 16 line. You just confirm that the adapter goes in there easily, smoothly. Put the line into the flaring bar, lightly clamp it, and then I am going to set the line height equal to this first step on the adapter. So I'll set the adapter here next to the line, and I'm going to pull the line down like so, and I'm going to tighten the flaring bar. The line is flush with the big first step on the adapter. Snug these thumb screws down pretty good so that the line doesn't push back through the flaring bar once you start flaring. Okay, now that's set, I'm going to put a little bit of fluid on the uh, adapter, just a little bit of brake fluid. Now the adapter goes in like this, so the little pin in the adapter goes into the top of the line. And take the yoke, set it in place. You want to try and make sure that the adapter is sitting square to the end of the line. And now we're going to start tightening this thing down. As we tighten it down, what it's doing is forcing the line into kind of a bubble on the end. Tighten it until it stops. Set the yoke back over to the side. Pull the adapter out. Now, you'll see that the line has this bubble on the end. As long as the bubble is true and the hole in the middle is pretty well centered, we should get a really good flare out of this. If the hole is oblong, or off-center, you're not going to get a good flare. You may as well stop right there and, and reset, start all over again. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the yoke back on the line without the adapter in place. And snug it down. Again, a little bit of lubrication on the yoke and the line, brake fluid. Doesn't need to be super tight, just snug. And you can see that that bubble has now been folded over and I've got a nice double flare. So go ahead and take this apart. Take a really good look at this flare. Make sure it's clean. All right, looks pretty good. It's centered up. It's pretty true. The fitting fits against it pretty tightly. It's looking pretty good inside here. Don't over tighten it when you come down here. You'll crack the line. That's important. Make sure that on that, any of this stuff, that you don't over tighten the yoke against the line. You don't want to crack the line. So it looks pretty darn good. Now, the key to that is the surface prep. You've got to make sure that everything is prepped well before you start the actual flaring process. If it's all prepped well, then uh, your flares are probably going to come out really nicely. With brake line, make sure that you don't use anything but good double wall steel rated for brake pressures. That's it. Pretty simple. You're going to have to buy a couple of pieces of equipment, but the flaring tool itself is pretty cheap. And once you can do this, you're going to find that you got a skill that a lot of people don't do very well.